so um, we have started talking about uh, proportions we're doing some little script here to make uh, to teach or learn math and also to learn Python and so in the last video we have seen how to make a proportion to solve a proportion and we just um, have created this class called prop and uh, it has um, this calculate method here so it accepts just a as you can see here the instance uh, prop accept this string with proportion 12 stays to 3 has 36 stays to x so we want to find how is x and you know that uh, to find x we have to multiply the medium for the um, and divide the the result for the x extreme that we know so um, I just printed here p1 that is the is this instance with this uh, proportion and I apply the method calculate x and the calculate x it looks for the uh, where is the x and where is the x uh, it means that it's known because when I create the instance this string is converted to a list with uh, these numbers and a known in place of the x so when I do cal uh, I launch this method with calculate x it will search for the where is the x and depending on this if the x is here or here or here or here it will multiply the, the mediums and divide by the other extreme uh, or or multiply the extremes and divide by the other medium in uh, um, base, uh, based on where is this x as you know from the fundamental principle of proportions so uh, that says that the multiplication of the extreme is equal to the multiplication of the uh, mediums uh, I don't know if in English medium and extremes are right because I'm Italian so I don't know exactly the terms in in English so I'm trying to um, I, but I think you figure out what this means because it's quite quite simple for me what I call extreme is this at the end 12 and x and the mediums are this and this uh, okay and I will do some I will see how you uh, how is called in English so uh, after we've done this we're gonna make something different uh, but not so much that are the, uh, we want to calculate now the percent or percentage let me check on Google Translate how in English are these terms so I think that okay proportion you say in the same way medium okay extreme um, the unknown or incognito okay is what we don't know known and for the the percentage okay or percent so now we want to find the the percentage um, or percentage percentage okay percentage and the percentage um, of how do we it's just a proportion that uh, in which one of the two um,
the two ratio, I think. Mm. Okay, the ratio, I think it's better. So, um, the one of the two ratio of the proportion is um, in uh, terms of hundreds. So it's 20%. That means that is 20 divided by uh, 100. And, um, and so one of the member is 100 and something, some percent like 20, 25, 30, whatever. So um, we uh, want to uh, we compare this um, division with 100 as a base and, um, and another number that is that has the same um, um, the same ratio of the other one. So um, that has the same results and uh, of of the other division because you know two the two division in a proportion have the same result you know like in here 12 divided by 3 is 4 like 36 divided by 9 is 4 and so mm, here the solution was 9 and now uh, the difference with the percentage is that we have here for uh, 100 and this, a certain number among 0 and 100 here that, or even more than 100 that means that is a part of this so every if you get a, a discount for example or 20 percent it means that if the product costs 100 you will pay 80 so you will have a discount of 20 uh, so 20 uh, of discount every 100 and um, but the price isn't always 20, uh, 100 so maybe you need to, maybe it's 200 in this case you have to pay you will have a discount of 40 uh, dollars so uh, 100 to some percent um, is um, uh, is the way you say that you made a discount for example 20% 25 but to apply this 25% to uh, the real price that can be uh, $2 or can be $2,000, $3,000 and wherever and to find out what uh, is the discount in dollars uh, instead of percent and uh, you need to you can um, do you have two method practically one method is the the one that you go to be um, to be faster because you know how to do it and you just do uh, for example if the price is 300 um, and the discount is 20 percent you just go and do 300 multiplicated for 20 and divided by 100 uh, but you could and this is the result of the proportion that is behind it and the proportion is 100 stays to 20 uh, like uh, or as I don't know in English how you say it as um, 300 stays to X if you want to find X and X is mm, the incognito is uh, of course is uh, 60 60 dollars because if every uh, 100 you get a discount of 20 for 300 we will have three times that that discount that is 60 of course and uh, you apply in the proportion you just could do the two mediums multiplicated so you will have mm, let me go to the okay to this one so in my example you will have 100 stays to 20 
as um, we said 300 stays to x and so x will be like uh, 300 multiplicated for 20 because these are the mediums uh, divided by the other extreme that is that is 100 and so it will be this one will be 60 um, and so that is why you you know how to do it you don't need to do this and then this but you will go and do the price multiplicated by the percentage divided then divide everything for 20. Okay, uh, have been said this, it means that we have, uh, we could use, we could not have the need to use the proportion. You could, you could use this one to make the percent, for example, here. Uh, let me see, pre free equal prop, you just make a simple proportion and make 100 stays to 20 uh, like uh, 300 stays to x and then p3 dot calculate x let's see what happens percentage you see the last one says that um, Okay, we got to print this. Okay, you see here that uh, the result of this proportion is 60. And so, um, and so that's, that's it. Mm. Okay, so this is just like the other uh, proportion, but let's see if we can make something uh, a little easier. If you do not want to do this 100 stays to etc., or do, you just have, for example, the price and the percentage. Um, and you wanted to calculate it just with this data without having to do the proportion, without having to know that you have to do 3000 multiplicated for 20 and divided by 100. So if you want to make this, uh, we just create this class percent that inherited from propor proportion from prop, class prop from proportions, that is this one and we will pass the base and the percent we could calculate um, the the result in the simplest way so the base here for multiplicated for several percent divided by uh, 100 but if you need to do it for teaching learning or showing something showing the proportion for any reason uh, you can we could also take advantage advantage of what we did before here to show um, how the proportion should be written instead of just showing uh, the result because you see that here I'm showing the proportion here and the result I'm showing it two times here and here and I could also I could avoid showing it two times maybe okay you could also make a leave some space here to
why it doesn't it doesn't print the new line And let's make it a little simpler here. Okay, because of course, if this returns okay, and and I could place this one here. Okay, so we got this in proportion and in percentage. We do percent and xprint here. And if you don't want to write this, we can just Okay, as you see here, the solution is and then goes to calculate x, self calculate x and uh, and the result is 600 because let me check out a little bit okay it shows the result is 600 Okay, because here what we did is to uh, create this this string here 100 to 20 as 3000 stays to x and so this then will call the superclass here passing the proposition that is this 
and then it will go to self print and we'll print the solution is this one or we can also do like this and then goes to calculate x so then goes to here to the proportions calculate x and um, it will print the result is you see that here it prints the proposition so you see here that prints the proposition and the result is and then the solution is it's from the so the first one the result is uh, comes from here from calculate x So this comes from the proportion that is made as first, and then the solution is this goes as first because in proportion here we see that when it starts the when it's called this one with the super class uh, call and it will go and self calculate x here and so it will calculate it and say the result of the proportion then we'll go into this self print so we don't need to uh, print this anymore because it's done by the the super class and so here is the, the proportion 600 the um, find the x this way okay so in the percentage there is this 300 multiplied by 20 and divided by 100 of course because this is but like a number percentage because um, okay can also go and print here x equal okay so that's all so we have seen how to uh, solve a percentage this could be done in a very simple way but this was just to see how we can do it with classes and how we can inherit a method from other classes that are the super classes in this case this prop and so practically you could have made another way here to to do this uh, the, to do the percent um, avoiding having to make the proportion and just giving price and percentage here um, probably we could have done also something like this if we wanted but I don't know if it's worthwhile and and so This is just an example. You can do the the percent of every everything, every quantity, not just the quantity of money, but quantity of everything. And so that's that's all for our 
second tutorial about making some math with um, with Python. See you next time.